Pilates group. Here we are Monday again, the second week, and we are ready to go. So today we're starting off with our feet facing forwards. We always start the, our Pilates feet like this. We're going to roll those shoulders right up towards our ears and back down again. So roll them right up and bring them down. So I'm just going to add a little bit more in here. So when I do this, I want to really pinch the shoulder blades back and then drop them down. Because if I just do this, you don't get a full roll there. So roll them up. Push your chest out, pinch your shoulder blades together, and you'll probably hear a few more wee creaks in there as well. Okay, so roll the shoulders right back and down into your two back pockets. Then place the hands onto your hips, and you're gonna roll the pelvis forwards and then roll back. Roll forwards and roll back. Roll forwards, squeezing that bum, and then back again. So we're always just using your pubic bone just here, and the belly button is just pulling towards your spine. So roll forwards and let's just tuck it forward there. Shoulders, like shoulders are back, bones nice and tight, pubic bones forwards, close that belly button in towards your spine then. So you should feel like, feel like you're just starting to tighten up a little bit there. And then I want you to tense those tummy muscles, okay, but you've got to keep on breathing. So I don't mind if it's inhale through the nose, exhale through the mouth, whatever breathing you can do right now, keep on breathing. What you don't want to do is act like this, and you're all tensed up. So your shoulders are right back, your ribs are lifted up, the belly button's closed in, you're tensing the abs, and then that last one then, those um, pelvic floor muscles, where you're taking that PP, and we're gonna stop the PP, and pull that PP all the way back up again, and you should feel nice and tight, perfect. So from there, then we're gonna start to take the back round. This is a little bit of a warm-up exercise I would do, um, starting my Pilates, and just lets the body know that you're about to do some work. Okay, so you'll see, just as I turn away from the toe, I do lift up the heel there, and then you can let those arms, if you've got the space, let the arms go up that little bit further there. And then just gently start to let the arms come back down until they come to a stop. Rest it, yeah, perfect. You're gonna take one arm and then the other. Perfect. Great, everyone, and three, two, one, just rest it there. So we've got the knees working, the hips working a little bit, the shoulders are working. So we're gonna take a deep breath in and bring the arms up and breathe out, bring them back down again. Breathe out, breathe in, and breathe out again. Great, one more time. And just rest it there, perfect. So let's get ourselves all composed again, and then we're gonna get into our exercises. So inhale and exhale, roll the shoulders down. Pull that pelvis forward, squeezing your bum. Belly button tucked in towards the spine there. Tense the abs, lift the ribs, pelvic floor muscles scooch all the way up, and let's do a big roll down for the spine then. Inhale, and then exhale, drop that chin towards your chest, push your backs up towards the ceiling. Taking it down, inhale and hands reach the knees, exhale all the way down towards your toes, and then bring that back up again. So you'd like your legs to stay nice and straight, but I'm not completely warmed up, so you'll probably have seen that my legs did go a little bit better, and that's fine. Um, but you're just working towards giving them a little bit more of a straight and tight leg for the hamstrings there. So inhale and exhale, roll. Just don't go beyond where you want. You don't, don't really want them to bend, so just stop. And then bring that all the way back up again. And we'll just do one more of those, roll it all the way down. And then bring that up again. Perfect. Okay, so you're going to step to the edge of the mat. So then we're going to try to get your heart rates up here. So we're going to roll it into a plank. And then we're going to come all the way back up to standing. So for anybody that feels that they get dizzy easily, if you've had vertigo in the past, um, uh, high, low blood pressure, um, you might not want to keep on coming up and down, especially as a beginner, you might want to sort of do this maybe in time. Um, but when I start to roll back up, if you can just come back into this position, I'll remind you about this in a little second, okay? So once you've done the plank, you'll just come back to here if you feel that you might get a bit dizzy. For everybody else, you're going to be rolling out and you're going to be coming all the way back up again, rolling out and coming all the way back up again. So let's give it a go. So we're going to inhale. We're going to exhale, roll, keep those legs straight as you can. Inhale and hands reach the knees, exhale all the way down to reach toes. Then if you need to, you can bend those knees and walk it out for me. Now we're just going to hold it, so you can hold it on your knees or hold it on your toes. Like so, pushing your heels towards the ground if you're up on those toes. Hands are directly underneath your shoulders, pelvis is tilted forwards. Then take your feet just 
width apart, and you're gonna walk yourselves back in again. This is where if you don't, if you feel that you get dizzy, just sit back into your heels. And everybody else should be rolled up like so. Let's go again. So inhale and exhale, take it down. And then roll, walk it out there. And this time, you can see now we're starting to combine exercises together. So in a regular Pilates class, there should be a bit of a flow to it. And that's what we're going to try and do today. Okay, level two will be up in those toes. So a slightly easier version is down those knees, and then the harder version is up in those toes. Keep your body really steady. You're not trying to crunch like this and bring the whole body down. Keep your body steady. And then we're going to take it back again. So push your heels down towards the ground. Anybody that doesn't want to go up to their feet, just sit back into your heels like so. Anybody that does, then push your heels down first to get that big stretch through the calf muscles. Keep pushing the heels down, legs straight for as long as possible, and roll all the way up again. And shoulders come back. So you should start to feel that heart rate is getting up now. Here we go, inhale. And exhale, roll. Push that back up towards the ceiling, and let's take it down. Okay, this time then, you're going to do a tiny, tiny tilt of the hips, which makes the obliques work. Now we're not going right down with the hip like this. If you do that, you're really putting your back into danger. So tuck the pelvis forward. So you do this on your knees or on your toes. And you just tilt and tilt. You're not trying to reach the floor by any means. It is the tiniest of little tilts, and you'll just feel those obliques going, ooh, hello. Okay, so you're up on your toes. A tiny, tiny hip tilt. If you feel that your feet are just going backwards and your hands are slipping, and you're trying to turn too much, you're going too far over. My feet are completely steady and my hands are steady. Nothing's moving except for the hips. And that's what you're aiming for. Okay, so even down on those toes, you feel that your knees, sorry, from your knees, you feel that you're sort of slipping back a little bit. You're probably trying to go down too far. Just a tiny, tiny tilt. And let's walk it back up again. If you're getting a bit tired, just sit back into your heels. And rolling that all the way up, shoulders right down into your two calf pockets. Let's go again then, taking it down. Okay, so this time then, just going to turn a little bit. You're going to keep your knees out wide, or your toes, whichever one that you're going to use. Okay, and we're going to touch the opposite shoulder. And touch the opposite shoulder. So when you're doing this, you're trying not to let those hips go from side to side. So you don't want to be like this. Your hips are trying to stay steady, so tuck the pelvis forwards. When you lift your left hand, push your left knee, or if you're up on your toes, your left toe down and towards the ground. When you lift your right hand, push the right knee, or if you're up on your toes, your right toe down into the ground. And that will keep your hips steady, which will make your core work that little bit more. Fantastic. Okay, and from there, then everybody's going to just bring those knees about hip width apart there. And we are going to slide those arms out nice and far. You should feel a little stretch down through the inner arms there, up around the top of the shoulders, maybe down the sides of the back a little bit. You can rest your head down, keeping the elbows straight at all times, or you can bring the head up ever so slightly. Please just be careful of your neck there. So just nice deep breaths as you hold this stretch. And we are going to rest it there. So we're going on to our hands and our knees here. So I need you to have a nice neutral spine. So we're not talking about like this, no, we're going like this. We're going to keep that back as straight as possible. And I'm doing all that just by tucking that pelvis forwards and back. When I've got the pelvis, once I've got the back nice and straight, I'm just checking the head, some the spine there. I'm going to tighten my butt cheeks together, put my belly button away from the floor, and I'm going to try and take opposite arm to leg up. So I'm going to use my left hand and my right leg. So we're going to take it out, pushing the heel away, and then bring it back in. Push it out and bring it back in. Push out, bring it back in. So if you want to just go for it there, okay, so use your left hand and your right leg because I'm going to go on and further extend things. Okay, so your 
gonna find that there's a lot of pressure on your left knee here that's on the ground. I want you to try and get the weight balanced so that your right hand is doing just as much as your left knee. So this is really good work for glute strengthening, so your bum strengthening and your lower back. Then you're also getting shoulder work. And we're going to swap that over. Okay, so now the right hand gets a bit of a rest, the left hand's going to take a lot of weight and then that right, right leg. So here we go, inhale, back's nice and straight, straight and exhale, take it out and bring it back in again. We exhale out, inhale back in again. Now if you're really struggling here guys, why don't you keep both hands on the ground and just do the leg. Okay, and then you can really concentrate on just one area and then you can even stop and just do the arm part. Okay, and that will just help with your balance a little bit. Okay, so for anybody that is going for both of them, be careful that you're not trying to lift the leg up really high here. You've got the leg bent, you've got the arm bent. It's not about how high you've got them. So you're really getting the correct muscles working here. So again, the left hand is pushing down and the right knee. You shouldn't be taking all your weight onto your right side. Okay, from there then we take it like push that knee away from you, push the back of your knee up towards the ceiling and that arm tries to come up in line with your shoulder. Exhale up, inhale down. Exhale up, inhale down. And as I said before, that is lower back strengthening, glute strengthening and shoulder strengthening all at the same time. Okay, and just rest it there. If your, if your hands or wrists are getting a bit sore, you can take this down onto your elbows and we're just going to do a little bit of hip strengthening then. So from here we're going to inhale and we're going to exhale, take the leg out and back in again. Leg out and back in. You can do this up on your hands as well. So if your hands are feeling good, I'd probably just stay up. Um, or you can take it down. And the same principle is, as you, if you're using your right leg out, you're pushing between your left, so your right elbow and your left knee. Okay, so the left arm is doing very, very little right now. Great. Now the leg, you're not trying to twist it and give it up really high weight. You're trying to keep it so that the hips are still static, still, still in the same place. And we're going to come back in again. So again, a little bit of glute strengthening there. As I always say, the stronger your glutes are, the less pressure there is on your lower back. Okay, and let's take that over to the opposite side then. So inhale before we begin and exhale, take that out and bring it back in again. Exhale out, inhale back in. Okay, so I'm up on my hands again. You can still stay down your elbows, whichever you prefer. Your left hand and your right knee is now doing all the balancing work there. Try not to take all your weight onto your right leg there. And four. Three, two, one, and we're going to rest a bit. We're going to take that right onto our side next. And so as I always say, just place a wee pillow or something underneath your hip there if you find that your hip is going to dig into the mat. So bring yourselves down. You're going to place your hand in underneath your head. Bring your bum to the back of your mat and bring your feet to the front of your mat there. Rest the head down. Okay, so if you don't have a mat, um, just make sure you're in a bit of a triangle position. Okay, and then from there we're going to take up both legs and back down again. Now I'm using my hand out in front to help me out here. I'm going to squeeze the heels together, so we don't want those legs to come up like this. We want to squeeze the heels together, squeeze your knees, your thighs, just tuck your bum forwards, pelvis forwards. And then you're really working into these obliques just here. So exhale up, inhale back down. Perfect. And resting that head, even I felt myself there, just starting to tense up the neck. So think about relaxing the head down in towards the hand there. Exhale up, inhale back down. Perfect. And then we're going to try and hold the hand. And do little tiny pulses, keeping the rest of the body really steady. Tuck that pelvis forwards. And five, four, three, two, one. Rest it. Yes, you should have felt good be burned down the side here. Now, there might have been some people that felt a little bit of a, a twig almost in the lower back there. What I need you to do is really tuck that 
pelvis forwards next time and just ensure that you haven't gone from that triangle position into a straight position or even opened up too much there. Okay, so let's try the other side. Okay, so take your bum to the back of your mat, bring your hand in underneath the head, rest the head down. We're going to bring those feet forwards. Okay, from there then the hand is down in front to give you a bit of balance. We're going to inhale and then exhale as you lift the legs up. Inhale, bring them back down. Exhale up, inhale back down. Perfect. Great, we're just going to keep that going then. Exhale up, inhale down. Always try not to let those legs move apart there because that tells me that you haven't got your pelvis stuck forwards enough, you're maybe not squeezing your bum enough. When your legs stay squeezed tight together, it means you're really squeezing the heels. You've got the, the, uh, <clears throat> the, the thighs together and you're trying to use everything to help out these obliques. Relax our head into the fingertips there. Exhale up, inhale back down. Perfect, and then try and hold it. And tiny, tiny pulses then. Brill, and five, four, three, two, one, and just rest it down there. Come on around onto your backs. We're gonna stretch those fingers away from your toes. So try and lengthen your body. Resting the arms down onto the ground. Now in this position, some of you will find that that's easy to rest the arms down, but for other people you'll be like, your arms might be up here, they might be bent to try and get the hands down. If that is the case, you will find that you probably, your posture maybe isn't up to scratch, you might be doing strength from your posture a little bit more. So what we always want to be aiming to do is have those arms down on the ground without arching the lower back up too much. So you've got to tuck that pelvis forwards a little bit. Okay, so that's just upper back strengthening that needs done there. We're going to take the hands behind our head, we're going to bend the knees in, and we're just going to do a couple of crunches just to ease our way into the next exercise. So always keeping space between the chin, chin and the chest. So what I like to do in um, Pilates quite a bit is combine exercises. So we've already done this crunch. Okay, so we're pushing that lower back down in towards the mat there. And your second exercise then is going to be your leg extension. So we started off with level one just here, keeping the back really straight in these leg extensions. Okay. And then your level two was just here, keeping the back straight, not letting any part of your body move, just the legs, but using the abdominals to use, to use the legs there. Try not to let um, these hip flexors come in. Okay, and you can also do this part with your legs. Okay, if you start to feel that you're moving with your legs a little bit, so the whole body being dragged down the mat, um, it's probably a little bit difficult for you, that particular one, so drop back a level. So now I'm gonna just combine these two exercises just to finish off today. So hand, elbows are going out to the sides. We are going to push the lower back down and towards the mat and crunch. And crunch. So push the lower back down each time. This is the level one. Level two will be starting up in the air in the top position and then dropping down, bring it back up. Great. And level three will be So no matter when I'm doing um, Pilates classes, I've always got the easier options. You're never going to be left behind with just harder options. No matter who is in the class, there will always be an easier, there could sometimes be up to five options. In this particular one, there would be five options for you. Okay, keep pushing your lower back down as you come up into the exercise. Exhale, and then inhale. side to side. So if you wanted to complete another set of those, please do. Aim for about 
five to ten on each side, depending on your level and ability. Um, and then you can finish again just in this position. And um, then, guys, that is you all done again for another day of your beginner's Pilates group. Please do keep on um, joining me for our last two this week. We'll be um, Wednesday and Friday. Um, and yeah, have a good week, guys. Still, the beginner's hit is going, so please do join in on that if you want to. You can just join in for any time. Thank you so much. Take care.